In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Gospel of June the 7th, 2018, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Do we really love God? One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than unburnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do we really love God? Sometimes, especially many of the members of the presbytery, we tend to develop this very funny way of loving, somehow romantic romantic love. That is not the way that we should love. We should always love in the agape way, to give ourselves to others. And that is why the Lord immediately refers to us the second commandment, to love thy neighbor as yourself. The Lord, interestingly, quotes the Septuagint, that is the Old Testament of the 70 wise Jews. He does not quote directly the text in Hebrew, but rather the text in Greek. Whereas the scribe reminds him about the text in, Jew, in, in Hebrew for the Jews, which is very interesting. For the Universal Church, the canonical Old Testament is the Greek version, not the Stuttgartensia. And let us just dwell a little bit in what the Lord is saying, saying, we shall love your God with all your heart. Now, it doesn't mean this fear that we like to do, I, I give you my heart. No, it's not that way. It's not the, the mechanical or rather the muscle pump that pumps the blood around us. That is not. That is not the heart. In the Semitical sense, that is for the time of the Lord and the culture, the heart was the foundation for your thoughts, for your feelings, for your desires, for your memories, for your own self. That was the heart. So it is with the whole of yourself, with the whole of your conscience. Now, the Lord is saying something else. He says, with all your understanding, news with all your mind with all your mind that is very important also this mind of us where we can develop thoughts and understand or not understand whether we want it or not or if we are capable or not we should love god with also that with all your soul and soul which translates uh, the living force, as long as we are alive, we should love God and with all your strength, with all your strength. So there should be nothing greater to love, no greater love than God for any one of us who, is, who are Christians. But that love cannot be an intimate love. It cannot be just to remain, it cannot be to remain within ourselves. It has to be, that particular love has to be expressed towards our fellow brothers. From that love comes the brotherly love that should be offered to all our brothers in the world. It is impossible for us to really nurture or to develop such love, because that love can only be the result of the Holy Spirit. We would be unfertile land, unfertile dirt, 
without the holy water, the life water of the Holy Spirit, and the seat of the Word of the Logos. Only when we are moved, when we are fertilized, when we are fecunded by the Holy Spirit and the seed of the Word, can we really produce the, fr the, the fruits for God, the love of God. And it must be done towards the lesser ones of our brothers. That is how we show our love to God. Whatever you did or did not to the lesser of your brothers, you did it to me. Let us pray today, dear brothers, humbly, that God in His all-merciful will sent again His Holy Spirit to all of us, that He might enkindle us in His love, that He might make us to produce those good fruits for Him. And may God, who is Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, send His blessing to all of us today and always.